All right, we are going to continue talking about photosynthesis today. I know you reflect on your last week, on your uh, last notes that we took about photosynthesis and how it affects our body and how we uh, are directly or indirectly affected by photosynthesis. What is directly, uh, what does, let me rephrase that, what receives energy directly from photosynthesis? Leaves and plants and what are you, give me some plants. Grass, trees, huh? flowers. All of these do because they have what type of cells? Um, what indirectly? Give me something that indirectly receives your energy through photosynthesis. Animals, right? Bears, deer, birds. The obvious animal would be humans, us. We indirectly. So how do we indirectly get our energy through photosynthesis? Okay. What, what she said was when we plant certain crops like broccoli and things of that nature, and the sun, the, the sun, the sun uh, directly uh, gives energy to those crops, and then we eat it. Do we have to necessarily plant them? Do we have to plant them? No, we can get them from the from the grocery store because that eventually comes from a farm, and we get it. Come on. And we also eat animals, yes. Uh, animals, and that's another indirect because we eat animals. Animals eat plants, which I like to get this from there, so that's very good. Um, one, just reflecting on what we talked about and what we thought of, plants directly. What, what, is, what are plants called? Because they can, what is, let me back up. What is the process of photosynthesis? You're right. Oh, yeah, let, let me start, let me start the new room, let me start it, okay. Okay, that's a short portion of it, but the true process is the sun, the plants capturing the sun, so you do have that part, thank you. And then the next major part is, don't you directly read that for me, you give me that in your own words. To do what? That's what he said. No, not it's not to grow, it's to do what? Growing is the indirect effect of it. <laughs> to make their own food, which means that plants are called what? Uh, on the top. Thank you, very good. So, during the process of photosynthesis, all of the do what? They do No, first they have to capture uh, the sunlight, and then they use that sunlight to change some things that they also use. What are those things that they also use? Water and carbon dioxide. And they change those things once they gather it in, Jada. Once they gather those things in, in the process of the plant, they change it just like this morning. You ate breakfast. I had a What do you have? Yeah, <laughs> All right, so your body, our body, took in that food that we had. Right now, your body is and, and what is it doing? It's changing those things. You needed those things for energy so that you can be happy, Chancellor. So move up here close to me. You needed that food so that you can be happy and have energy, but your body, pay attention, is now changing, your health. And your body is changing those things so that you can get what you need and you can get rid of what you don't need as a form of weight. So the plant, Alicia, took in that sun, took in that water. And that carbon dioxide, that sun helps that plant to change those things using what it needs and getting rid of what it does not need. What are those things that it gets rid of? What is it though? Sugar, which I told you was called what? Glucose and oxygen. Who uses that oxygen in that glucose? We do. We need that. That oxygen we need to survive 
and that sugar gives us this energy that we need that we took in and that our body will change and turn into weight and we will then let out so let's then look at this because in your notes you realize also that your plants not only did they take in um, the water and the carbon dioxide and the sunlight, it talks about specifically where they take those things in at. Look your notes. We're talking about two stages. Your next volunteer. Notice here you have your leaf structure, and within your leaf structure you have chloroplast. Chloroplast is a what? Within the cell? What is that called? Little parts of the cell are called what? Start with an O. Organelles. All right. Notice here down here you have your stomata. And the stomata is for what again? Okay, you give me portion of it. Where, what happens in the stomata? It is a chain. What's changing in the stomata? The carbon dioxide and the water are being changed into what? Glucose and oxygen, abracadabra. All right. Here it shows you where you have the chlorophyll within the chloroplast. What is the chlorophyll for again? That's not in your notes, it's up here. It is in your notes on another page. It gives it the color, which is why your leaves that I gave you um, should be colored partially green. All right, since you're up here. Uh, the observes energy from the sun. At the same time, air enters the leaves through opening called the mother, and water enters the leaves through. 
this word, this word came, came, came all, all the way up from the root. Thank you. So let's look at step one. Step one, you'll see that light energy comes in from the sun. Then the air enters through the stomata. And that's where it's going to be capturing that carbon dioxide. And then the water will come up through the roots. And within that area, that's where that abracadabra change happens. Any questions? Okay. It's like a video game. The process are chemical factors powered by the sun. They take carbon dioxide molecules from the air energy from the soil field and water from the veins and change them into oxygen and sugar. And who uses that oxygen and sugar? You do. This is why you need to eat your vegetables and your fruit. Because this is where you're going to get your normal source of sugar for good energy, not that energy that's going to make you tired later. Oxygen is released back to the environment. Okay, and this is just showing you an illustration here. Sugar molecules move to other parts of the tree, and your oxygen is released. Who uses that oxygen again? We do, or other animals. And I'm going to stop here. All right. Here you have your diagram that looks like this. You have your leaves. It's going to be so big. You have two leaves. Actually, you have a leaf and a half. on your sheet. Okay, so this is your activity. This is what you'll be doing. You have this worksheet in front of you. And on this worksheet, you have a leaf and a half. And you have instructions, but in a moment, I'm going to show you exactly how you're going to cut this out and put this together and what it is that you're going to do. On the back of your paper, you have your stomata that's already been placed. If you flip your leaves over, if you're watching this video because you're not in class, you will have to move these things according to where it tells you. But you have on the back of yours, under the right side of the big leaf, you have your stomata. Under the half leaf, you have your four class there. Then you have your arrows, which say different things. For example, your first arrow says sunlight strikes surface of the leaf, then carbon dioxide enters through the leaf. Um, I'm sorry, enters the leaf through openings called stomata. Water enters the plant through roots and moves upward towards the leaf. Sugar produced and chloroplasts are used by the plant cells for energy, and oxygen enters through the stomata on the underside of the leaf. It will be your job to place these arrows appropriately. So let me show you exactly what you're going. Your first step will be to color your leaves. You may color them with some brown and some red, but it must have some green in there because this particular leaf contains what? Chlorophyll, which is in the chloroplast. And that means this leaf has to have some greenery to it because that gives it its pigment. Then you're going to cut out these leaves. So you have your leaf, you cut out your leaf, and off the back, like I showed you, you have your stomata there. Once you colored and cut out your leaves, and on the smaller leaf, you have your chloroplast. Pay attention so that you'll know what you're doing once you're released. You have a part that says this is the slit. You're going to be cutting the slit. The way that I cut the slit was I folded the leaf and I just made a cut and that makes the line in between so that your leaf has an opening. No, pay attention.
So once I cut the split, I have an opening there, and then I'm going to take the leaf portion and I'm going to place it inside the leaf. And like your instruction says, <clears throat> you're cutting the full leaf and you're going to cut the slit and I'm going to place the half leaf so that it lays on the left side of the bigger leaf. And if your slit's not big enough, you just have to make a little bit more of a cut. And then you'll notice that, that there's a little flap on the other side. And once I put that in the slit, I fold that over. I'm just showing you again. I'm putting it towards the left side of the leaf. And you'll see once you put it in there, it's just like adding a portion to the leaf that didn't exist. And you'll bend the flap over so that it stays in there and it doesn't slide out. And then you are gluing down the left side only, the side that has nothing on the back. I put the glue there and I put it on that little tag. And remember, we put on page seven, it's called the Photosynthesis Leaf Experiment. I'm sorry, uh, explanation. Make sure you do not put the glue on the side that has the stomata. And then you're going to glue it down on page seven of your notebook. Make sure it's on the left side. This is a reflective uh, thing, so that's why it looks like it's half and half. Like It looks like it's on the right side, but it's actually on the left side, like looking in the mirror. So when you glue it down, the um, you should be able to lift up when you see the side, when you see the stomata, and you should be able to open up the leaf. And then you will start to place your arrows where they're supposed to go, showing what's happening. You may have to lift up some of your leaf, you may have to glue it down on a portion of your leaf. Any questions about what it is that you will be doing? Okay, then you're going to go ahead and get started with your activity.